taking a live look right now uptown Charlotte from our HD tower cam. Uh, a beautiful day to be able to enjoy in the Queen City. It is so nice outside and I mean just comfortable over the weekend. Yeah, and you know, and temperatures are gonna be warming up. So I know we were kind of below average a little bit and then we were around average. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be well above average this week. So near 90 uh, degree temperatures. No, yeah. yeah. I know you're so excited about that. And some rain too, and some rain <laughs> too, right? I got my first mosquito bite and oh, I was no. showing it off. Super it's proud. happening. Oh, it's <laughs> happening for sure. We do have some storm chances as well. We've got a first alert in place for Tuesday and then again at the end of the seven day forecast closer to the weekend Saturday. But you'll notice even though those look to be the highest chances for rain that we have within the forecast, it's not the only chance. So we're going to have to watch Friday. We're going to have to watch Sunday. And we've got the Love and Light Festival that's going to be coming up this weekend. We are watching this forecast closely and we'll continue to do so. If you haven't already, grab our first alert weather app. We're going to send you lots and lots of updates on that over the course of the week. But look at your temperatures. I wanted to overlay this upper 80s by the time that we get towards Thursday afternoon. We'll see sunshine. It's going to be a dry day overall at that point and very, very warm. And it's warming up pretty quickly right now. We've got a few of these clouds really pretty. You can see the wind direction just by looking at the clouds. We call those cloud streets. Fascinating view right now on satellite and radar, but we're dry across the Carolinas. You have to travel pretty far west to run into any rain chances out on Lake Norman. Beautiful day to get out on a boat. You can see the water is pretty still out there. We've got all this sunshine here from our uptown Charlotte skyline view. It's just beautiful outside temperatures right now in the low 70s, but let's show you what to expect as we continue through the afternoon. You'll notice those temperatures topping out right around that 80 degree mark, and we should be there for a few hours as you're tuning back in. I'll be back on at four o'clock, likely with temperatures around 80 degrees at that time and we'll drop back into the 70s by the time we get towards 8 o'clock tonight upper 60s by 11 heading out the door tomorrow morning upper 50s very very momentarily I think most of us are going to be spending time in the 60s by the time that you're heading out the door it's gonna be a very brief opportunity for those upper 50s low 80s by tomorrow afternoon but then we start to see those shower and storm chances pick up so let's talk about tomorrow first since that is the closest day with these rain chances likely starting the day dry but watch what happens with time so here's your evening drive home check back in meteorologist Lisa Vegas and myself will be watching radar, likely seeing a few of these showers and storms starting to develop in our northwestern counties, and those will just continue to push eastward. So 7, 8 o'clock at night, we'll likely have some of those showers and storms on either side of that I-77 corridor, and those will work east, fizzle out. We'll dry out a little bit into the middle of the week, just a 20% chance of rain on Wednesday. Temperatures warming up, 83 uh, degrees, forecast high temperature, 87 by Thursday, and then we get to the weekend. So if you do have plans, whether you're going to the festival, or maybe going somewhere else, and we've got some games going on across the Charlotte Metro as well. These temperatures will stay warm, but we're going to be dealing with off and on showers and storms. So some scattered storms capable of producing some heavy rainfall, some gusty winds, some thunder and lightning. That's what we're going to be watching for but by I saw the end one of the last, week. Last so we're year. about that seven day forecast. There you go on your screen. We've got temperatures in the 80s each and every afternoon going forward from here, waking up in the 60s most mornings.